Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Fetching with Adam and Jared. We are doing another lightning episode because of a, an absurd tweet that came up from one of our favorite people, Raphael Shimunov. Uh, but first and foremost, I want to show you my Seinfeld shirt that I'm very proud of. My ex-wife actually bought it for me right after my children were born. Um, one of the good things that came out of the marriage, I guess, and, and the kids, mm -hmm. especially given that it says number one dad. Mm -hmm. And yes, I do think I'm better than you. Not just you, Adam. I, I really mean everybody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and I don't think you have such a shirt. No, I don't have such a shirt. No, I don't. I don't have any kids. But if I did, they'd buy me a Cadillac. Not a oh, shirt. so now you think you're better than me? Yes. Anyways, let's turn on screen share, and we're going to get right to it because this is this tweet was just so laughable that it required um, an immediate uh, response. So mm -hmm. this will be a lightning episode. Screen share, share sound, and here we go. Okay, Raphael Shimunov, for those of you who don't know who he is, he is one of the uh, founders, I believe, but certainly a very prominent member of If Not Now, um, an anti-Semitic Jewish organization that is not quite as bad as Jewish Voice for Peace, but they're certainly treading um, in that territory. They've done a great deal of, Adam, what are you doing? Well, I, this this tweet is just so absurd that I I have to take a close look at it because I'm I don't know if I could believe what I'm seeing here. That's a very impressive magnifying glass. Thank you, thank you. And it shows you that the digital age has not you know really uh, superseded the analog age because we still have to resort to old technology to make sense of this of this gibberish. So as the founder of If Not Now and Jews for Racial and Economic Justice, two very far left Jewish orgs, and If Not Now, at least, their project is to liquidate Israel and replace it with Palestine, though they won't say that explicitly. They've got their little nuances. Their biggest claim to fame is, uh, or their, I should say their ambiguities uh, in what they say, their biggest claim to fame was um, occupying uh, some Hillel houses and, you know, being proud of their occupation of it. And you could watch a video of them sitting there and chanting, lie, 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 whatever. Mm -hmm. But in reality, there was nobody in the Hillel house because they failed to take into account that it was a Jewish holiday at the time. And therefore, nobody was there. Uh, anyways, let's take a look at this tweet here. People saying war, in quotation marks, because presumably he means genocide, um, is making us not our best selves. Yet Palestinians unjustly manage ethnic cleansing while forced to be diplomats, social workers, therapists, teachers, pacifists, and poets. Mm -hmm. If they can be their best selves when they have every excuse not to, why can't you? Okay, so what's he saying here? I, I don't get it. Right? So first of all, he's saying that... Um, the uh, the Palestinians are are victims, right? And uh, despite their being victims, uh, they have rise they've risen to um, being diplomats, social workers, therapists, teachers, pacifists, and poets. They've managed to put aside uh, their suffering and still rise to the occasion to be all of these great things. Whereas Jews have not been able to do that. Right. I assume by you he means Jews, since he is living in the West and he's not living in Israel. It doesn't right. mean his tweet is directed at right. Israeli specifically. Yeah. So mm -hmm. he's maligning the Jews. We're all in bad behavior. Um, right. Yet I don't know anybody um, in my Jewish universe who is calling for the liquidation of Gaza or ethnic cleansing or mm -hmm. celebrating death of right. Palestinians. Yeah, there's two problems here. The first problem is uh, just like in the case of that Jeremy Corbyn tweet that we analyzed a couple of weeks ago, it's an extremely rose-colored view of Gaza and the Palestinians. Uh, and the other problem is that uh, it's a really uh, bizarre thing to say about Jews, uh, considering uh, how much the Jews rise to the occasion of putting aside their uh, history of uh, exile and oppression and uh, but and, and and put aside these problems. I don't I don't understand what he's trying to say here. I mean, they're they're it's premised on two flawed uh, positions. And the woke, him being an example, is filled with Jews who are actually calling for a ceasefire immediately. What there are they behaving That's badly right. too? Mm -hmm. yeah. So, you yeah. know, let's I want to focus on the education part in particular, but just in terms of the diplomats, 
I'm trying to think of what diplomacy Hamas is conducting at the moment, and all I can think of is them engaging in, in hostage negotiation. So um, good job on having taken hostages and now issuing uh, demands for their release. But the mm -hmm. education one is one of the more troubling ones, because after all, uh, the children are our future. So and first of all, there's no ethnic cleansing going on. Yeah. Yeah, that has to be underscored as well. Yeah. Um, what I also want to point out, aside from this being an insult to the Jews, um, we are not trying to suggest that all Palestinians um, are in any way implicated um, in the terrorism um, of uh, coming out of Gaza. And I am sure there are Palestinians who teach. There are, I'm sure there are Palestinian pacifists and therapists, uh, maybe even Raphael is seeing a Palestinian therapist for all we know, and, and, and all these things. But it is a rose-colored picture, and we need to, uh, you know, just show some of the evidence uh, that is available, given that Raphael has not provided. So we are by no means saying that what we are showing applies to the entire Palestinian people, or even all the people in Gaza, for that matter. Okay, well, here we have um, Yahya Sinwar. 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 Sinwar, yeah. 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 He was released in a hostage exchange for uh, Gilad Shalit, and then he went back to uh, Gaza to become, at least according to this picture, an educator. Of young He's Mr. Rogers, you can easily tell. This is Mr. This is the Palestinian Mr. Rogers. He's the person in my neighborhood. Um, so, yeah. so this is, the, this is uh, uh, Raphael Shimonov's land of make believe. Yeah, and what did this person do after getting released? Well, he is the mastermind behind the attack of October 7th. And presumably he did it by educating the next generation um, of terrorists to go out and carry uh, that out. Um, mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's very, very disturbing. Mm -hmm. um, what else do we have in the realm of education? Well, Leila Khaled, um, she, granted that I'm going back decades here, but she has been in the news in the last few years, she was the first uh, female ever convicted of hijacking an airplane. She was a militant for the Popular Front for the Liberation of Palestine. And as far as we know, she has never renounced her membership. She served time in an Israeli jail and was then released in a prisoner swap. And then guess what she went on to become? Um, she went on to become a, an educator. She an educator. Le yeah. Lecturing on... Uh pedagogical praxis and the indivisibility of justice. Yeah, and note that the word resistance is here. So if a former yeah. terrorist is giving a talk um, sponsored by the Middle Eastern Studies Program at SF State, led by Rabab Abdulladi, who is the founder of the Center for the Critical Studies of Zionism, an anti-Semitic um, net network of people, um, presumably resistance in this context has to mean violence, given Leila Khaled's previous previous career right yeah. yeah so this is a little bit disturbing zoom found it disturbing and they refused to host the presentation i mean after all she can't get into american territory because... and youtube shut down her presentation as well yeah okay so this is education uh near as i can tell based on the evidence that comes up um i want to show a video now of education in gaza of how children play uh, I guess this is recess um, at kindergarten. <laughs> That's one of the most disturbing things I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. I mean, do is this what Jewish kids do at Jewish school? Uh not at my Jewish school. What about yours? Nope. And even if we take Israelism, the horrible movie, as being some sort of actual authentic representation of Jews being brainwashed into worshiping Israel, they're still not actually being taught to commit violence right? It, the education process, they might be taught that Israel is the greatest country in the world, blah, 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 blah. We made the desert bloom, you know, all the usual cliches. You need to be loyal to Israel. But nowhere does it say we need to go out and kill people. Um, we never learned that. 
uh, we learned that we wanted peace. And they in fact, I do peace. remember now that you mention it, there was an incident when I was in a Jewish school uh, where there was a, a kid who was uh, comparing the uh, Palestinians to the Amaleks. And the rabbi was furious, said these are not Amaleks. Good. And that's very important because we use the uh, we use Amalek, the Amalekites, as analogies in school all the time. For instance, we learned that Haman was an Amalekite. Does it actually say that in the Bible that he's an Amalekite? I think so. Yeah, it does say. It. But Adolf Hitler is also an, a, an Amalekite. You know, even at the young age of seven, I was a little skeptical of the, the genealogy of the whole thing. So, mm -hmm. yeah, no, but we never said any such thing um, about Arabs and Palestinians, certainly in no collective manner whatsoever. So uh, this is pretty, uh, you know, a disturbing example of what's going on in Gaza in the way of education. And again, I don't know if this characterizes all of education in Gaza, and I'd, I'd like to hope it doesn't. Uh, it certainly doesn't characterize Palestinian education in the West, um, as far as I know. So it's a, it's a very disturbing thing. So how do we conclude this, Adam? We're done with our material. Well, uh, what's the second premise here? That if they can be the, their best selves when they have every excuse not to, why can't you? Well, who's you? Who's he talking to? Jewish Zionists in the United States? What? I think we're doing pretty damn good at this point, right? I, I think uh -huh. I think we're just damn scared um, about the rise of anti-Semitism in the United States. We're scared for our brothers and sisters in Israel um, who were massacred on October 7th, 1,400 people, though I heard they might have lowered the number to 1,200 mm -hmm. um, recently. Uh, mm -hmm. We're scared for our security, and right. we're, we're fighting back defensively. But you're, our, you're, you're, best self. You're, you're a number one dad. I'm a number one dad, you and I'm not writing violent... So I'm not what? writing violent poetry, and I'm also a teacher, and right. I'm certainly not going into class and doing uh, any such things um, that Raphael seems to be accusing me um, of doing. Mm -hmm. I'm a poet also, as well as a teacher. I, I don't know if you read my poem about Batamti Mustard. Oh, I haven't read that. It's yeah, I'll have to send that over to you. Yeah. Okay. It's about empty mustard? No, oh, Batamti Mustard. Oh, okay. You know, the, co the company, Batamti. Okay. Are you like Darren, the Kramer's intern who wants to put ketchup and mustard in the same bottle? No, 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 no. That was Kramer's idea. Yeah. Okay. Well, that could work. Yeah. All right, Shimunov, uh, we're closing off here. And just yeah. uh, at the end of the day, we have nothing to say that you're a Shmigegi, um, a Schmendrick, and uh, whatever else. And you are now in the running for Shmigegi of the year, right? Yeah. yeah. Just yeah. Uh, risen to pretty close to the top um, of the pile. Yeah. So uh, this is Jared and Ad Adam. I'm going to turn off screen share. Signing off uh, for a lightning episode, and I hope you enjoyed what we had to offer.